Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7. Uh, I am very far off the pace, is uh, the summary I've deduced from coming back to this after three weeks. I think I'm at best two seconds a lap worse off than I used to be. Um, and maybe seven or eight at worst. Uh, over a hypothetical two minute lap um, so this is clearly not the open lobby uh, hosted by JSI John and Rossi I was horrendous in the very few races I took part in and I decided there's just no point because I wasn't even nearby anyone um, to even try and pick up lines again I, I, I don't know what it what it is I think it's well no, I think I do it's a combination of not playing the game and playing Gran Turismo 7 as the only game I played I was literally just doing the daily reward on Gran Turismo um, but that seemed to ruin my Forza ability here um, I'm not the quickest at Gran Turismo, I think I'm like 5 or 6 seconds off like world record pace um, at like a hypothetical 2 minute lap, so yeah at best I'm 5 seconds off in this at the minute, whereas I think I was 3, maybe even 2 at certain tracks before. Um, so I jumped into Hoppers instead, this was the same night. Um, and this lobby was quite populated before this race and it, signed, it kind of uh, emptied out. Uh, which seems to be a common uh, thing that happened with every lobby I entered uh, both days I was playing. Uh, I don't know if I've upset the community myself or something and people are backing out. Or whether it's just I'm going on at uh, unpopular times or times where everyone has to depart. Um, so here at Sebring Short, uh, this is one I hot lapped a long time ago in this car and no one really had an answer for the sheer power. Um, and I didn't really have an answer for how bad I was at the game initially finding the dirt on the very first lap so these are the only sort of cars I seem to be able to work with right now is where it's insanely powerful in comparison to what everyone else has um, which I find odd because the handling of these cars is generally awful um, but it's more all-rounders that I was struggling with, certainly in S-Class, I was using stuff like the Corvette 09 and the Aston Martin DBS was another thing I used, um, I might have used the 09 Corvette twice, but yeah it, it's it's weird coming back to the game, not even tried hot lapping and I couldn't get near the lap I'd done on what I'm trying to hot, or what I was trying to hot lap before I stopped playing. Uh, so getting a small punt from, I think that's a beetle. Um, which is no big worry. We'll uh, out drag you into this corner. And I'm taking a very narrow line. I don't think I was responsible for that. I know I sort of forced him narrow, but yeah, he could have backed out. Um, and then, yeah, here's a proper handling car, which I think has always been my strength. It was really handling circuits. Um, so we're going to have a good launch. And immediately sort of forget how the cars drive. Uh, I think I'm just not on the pace at all um, which is evident and then there 
that was really frustrating getting caught on his back panel. Um, so I let him go and everyone else in the process, which was rather annoying. And now we're going to try and do last to first, uh, which was going to be impossible with how I was driving because I think I'm getting lines wrong. I'm on the brakes a bit too much on the brakes late sometimes on the power too late or too early um, but for everyone else's misfortune we're into fourth after not too long and then both of these guys running it wide lucky not to be taken out and yeah now we've got to try and catch up to this guy which once I'd got into the fourth lap I think I decided to get a rhythm down it was just trying to put laps together um, something that I hadn't really done to this point so we had a better run but we lost out to the uh, alpha on the straight but making a nice move there I was quite happy with that one uh, at the time this still on the Wednesday night. I'm not sure when it transitions over. So, yeah, we end up in the dirt. Um, so I was trying to outbreak myself. And because of that, we uh, get a very good run through the final corner. We just don't have the power in this Lotus. But we were well and truly beaten to first. I thought, yeah, I probably could beat first place, but no, I was about one and a half seconds off what I could have done at best. Um, I thought I was going to have a nice clean run there because everyone was ghosted, but then they all sort of unghosted. Um, so this was yesterday morning. about midday so we start off in the Evo at Suzuka West I remember this car being quite good uh, I also remember getting punted into that corner uh, a familiar feeling because no one else can drive I think that's something that hasn't changed the inability of other people to drive in hoppers um, and I think that's probably something that hasn't changed since Forza Motorsport 1. So this car, being four-wheel drive, it is kind of a cheat. Um, like having all-wheel drive at your disposal. But I sort of, I was in the mood to just try and get through the pack, because this is what I wanted to avoid. And we're going to do that quite well. So up behind a Civic really long weird ones I don't consider that a Civic myself like to me that is not a Civic so I think he gave me a lot of room quite respectful there and then we I had a look around the outside I think that's a Mustang Cobra I get punted by a Tamo Racer of all things uh, the Mustang running wide up into 6 uh, and then very shortly after I'm going to catch up to, I think, an M5. And out drag it into Degna 1. Get a little punt on the straight out. Um, and then out the exit of Degna 2, he has no chance. Um, and yeah, the gap created in the front was already quite big. I was gaining on 3rd and 4th, but I think 1st and 2nd were still pulling away. Uh, then Sebring Short came up again. Um, so this one was a bit more interesting. That Alfa Romeo there, he won Suzuka by quite a fair amount. I think I was only up here because I had a clean lap. Um, it's just getting off the line with this car. In the mirror there was a American muscle car sideways getting punted. Um, typical thing to be treated to when returning to Forza. I was surprised that BMW behind didn't punt me, um, which was quite a pleasant surprise. 
but you can see that alpha it gains a lot in this section and obviously this is not where the S800 is strong it's on this big long straight and then the other big long straight so BMW going up the inside that didn't worry me at all And we're going to see here how quickly we can gain on the Alpha. And the answer is we can have him into the final corner. So I don't know what this other guy was thinking. Maybe he was worried. Maybe he thought, oh, it's just one of these power cars that's going to get me at the end of the lap. Um, but yeah, that final corner, this car really doesn't like it. We're going to have them into turn one. So, here, I think if I managed to get the car rotated in, um, it would have I'd have been able to hold him off. But you can see we're closer than we were at this point last lap. Um, only marginally, I think. But, yeah, from here it's difficult to tell. So, you see the car really trying to raise up that front left wheel. Uh, that's what caught me out in the first race, I think, um, when I went off at that corner on lap one. Oh yeah, this was apparently raining, um, so we're going to get some dense cloud and the sky is going to grey as we go down into the final corner. There you go. It now looks like England rather than Florida, uh, which I think is even spaced in. I've probably... Uh, got that wrong but yeah we're gonna take that final corner in a horrendous way yet again but we're gonna be able to get the power down a bit better and here I stayed to what is now the outside of the track for turn one and made sure I got a good turn in and he sort of looked around the outside but once you get to about 100 miles an hour in the fifth gear this car sort of takes off um, previously I have used this car as like a three geared car sometimes even four um, generally just ignoring the first as we go up the inside on two wheels there proper James Bond manoeuvre um, as he did in the Mac 1 in Diamonds Are Forever um, yeah this car previously I've used it for like multiple gears but certainly last night it, or the night before this car felt better with one gear which a lot of people do use um, and you still see I've got normal steering on here and the car really wants to wiggle around so we managed to gap him by about a second uh, and it stayed constant I think I could have put in a much better lap time um, it just didn't happen for me. Then the lobby died out, or oh no, it moved to Nurburgring, um, and I was really happy about that until someone shoved me into the gravel at the Schumacher X, uh, which wasn't worth highlighting. So I could only find that same lobby in B class, and this was the only lobby I could find in A class which coincidentally was doing Nürburgring at the same time but this one swapped to Le Mans so we're going to use our sheer power of the RX-7 I forgot how much top end this thing has um, I forgot it had 6 gears it's sort of topping out um, and yeah I thought this car was 5 so I was very happy to find it was 6 so we're able to overhaul this guy. Um, peaking at nearly 270 miles an hour. Which I think is the peak of a lot of cars in uh, Forza 7. And that looks like it's in slow motion now. Taking the Ford chicane there. But um, yeah, this car felt really good. It wasn't just the straights where I pulled. It was once like the Porsche curves came into effect. I think I pulled a further nine seconds over the other guy and then this is where it ended with the black screen glitch so this car I think would have been quite good um, 
but yeah, it just wasn't to be here. So coming back to Forza, it was a tough experience to bring it back to. This really looks in slow motion now. Um, yeah, it, it was frustrating to come back to and be so far off the pace. I'm going to do some practice in half time. But yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching to the end. I hope you have a great day. Hopefully see you in the next one. Uh, and until next time, uh, bye for now.